Hello, my name is Travis Collins with DreamingWell.com. The purpose of this video is to show you the pan view. The idea is that you have a flex mobile application in which you want to switch between views using a gesture rather than a button. So I have this simple demo with source code included. I'll step you through what it does first. So you can see here we have one view and with my two fingers on my trackpad or on the, the phone's interface you're able to pan left and right. See, I can pull just a little bit and it bounces. I can pull a lot and it pans. In this simple demo, I'm just showing panning through different views. This happens to be panning through the same view with just different data applied. Number one, two, three, four, and five. Number five is the last one, so you can see that when I pull far to the right, even on the, the last one, it bounces back into place, but doesn't actually pan. And then again, if I pull all the way to the left, the same thing, it doesn't pan. Okay, so I'll show you the source code. In the article you'll find this, the Flex project download and in that you'll find the source code. So we'll start with the pan view application. It's pretty simple. It just says use simple pan view. Simple pan view is an implementation of pan view base. Simple pan view just takes the panning actions, pan the left and pan right, and shows the transitions of going left and right in between two different views. You don't have to do that. You could change the state of the current view. You could hide things in the current view. You could not do anything at all. You could do just about anything you like. So those are the panning left and right. And then there's an update pan options method that allows you to enable and disable panning left and right and also gives you, it lets you set the minimum pan percent. So how far does the pan have to move uh, to be considered a, a panning action. All right, so now let's look at pan view base, which is what simple pan view extends. And you'll see here that we have all the logic about gestures and actions. These are all from the Flex Mobile SDK. And really all it does is capture the uh, gesture pan and then does some processing as to when the animation to start and end. The beginning of the action is, is simply taking a bitmap image of the current view, then animating that to look like a pan, giving it a foreground and a background, and then of course allowing the overriding simple pan here to perform its action. And these are all of the this is all the source code to that. And that's all you need to know. So again, this is the Flex Mobile Pan View project.